So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can duplicate an object and change the color and material of the duplicate um, object. So the thing is, when we first uh, duplicate an object, what happens is, uh, okay, first of all, I'm going to show you how to duplicate this object. So select this object, and you can also go to object, uh, sorry, uh, object, and then duplicate objects, or you can just press Shift D. Now, if you move your mouse, you can see there is another duplicate object. Click, and then it's placed here. Again, Shift D. You can. Do this again, Shift D. You have another object. Okay, there are like four different cubes. Now, what happens there, uh, is if you go to this um, material preview mode, they all have white color. Now, if I go to this first cube and then go here, material properties, this has a base color which is white. If you go to this white color and change this, the color of all the cubes change. Okay, it changes. The colors change, or the cubes, I don't know how to say this. The cubes change the color at the same time. So, this is not what we want. So, how do we, uh, how do we separate them? Okay. So, uh, the way you do is, uh, Press Shift and keep selecting the object. So you have selected all the objects. Now go to Objects, uh, go to Relations, Make Single User, and here the th third one Object, Data, and Materials. You can also choose Object or Object and Data, but this one makes sure that it's different. It has it's a different object, it has different data, and it has different material. Okay, so the third one, uh, so because uh, the color, the base color is inside material. So click here. Now I'll click outside. Now, if you change this, you know, the color. Okay, now you can see it's a different color. Similarly, if you will go to here. You can change color here. Similarly, if you go here, you can change the color. And you can check here, okay? It's not just the color. Uh, click here, and then you can see this. Uh, we have something called roughness. If you decrease the roughness, it looks shiny, okay? So it looks shiny. The only blue one is looking shiny, okay? Uh, on top of that, we can make it more metallic, metallic, look metallic, okay? Okay, so this is uh, the object that we have just changed, okay? Uh, I'm going to change the lighting here so that it looks a little different, okay? So the thing is, the shiny thing is only on this blue uh, cube because it has different material. It's a different object now. That's why it has a uh, shiny thing here and you know, metallic look. Okay. So this is how we uh, give. Uh, separate um, what do you say separate um, property to a duplicate image first when you duplicate this image if if we don't do anything they all look same they all make uh, the change the changes together so they are uh, basically the same object if you need the same um, quality or same property uh, to 
to be applied on this on, on all the objects don't do anything just duplicate them and leave them but if you need them uh if you need uh, them have you know separate colors separate separate uh, roughness and all that you need to uh go to object and relations and then make single user and choose object and data and material so that's how you do that so okay so hope you um, understand what i'm saying and i i hope this video has been useful for you and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel